Hi, I'm Trey and this is Decoding Code. This video is going to be about uh, hash maps and we're gonna basically just be uh, learning about how to create them and adding keys and values, what keys and values are, um, and also just doing more things with them. So just basic stuff about maps. So let's get into it. All right, so maps are kind of like a dictionary. So there are keys and values and keys are kind of like a naming system or identification system where it's like a name for the value or a way to identify the value. And the value can be an integer, um, string, whatever it wants to be. And the key can also be integer string, again, whatever it wants to be. And this is different from an array because instead of having an index, it has keys and values. And instead of like remembering an index, you can remember something that's way easier. Remember like a name or uh, some kind of identification that you can identify. So let's get into it. How you create a new hash map is that you say, hash map and then what your type for your key is going to be and then the type of value is going to be and this is uppercase double because this is actually uh, the class double instead of the primitive uh, data type double. So this is different because I need to put an object in here instead of a primitive type and so that's why we have this class double and this is basically just a class with one double in it you can like see here i think see it's just one field double and i'm naming mine products you'll see why later um and then new hash map same thing as we did here brackets you know how it goes and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some keys and values so for mine uh, this example is basically like a store. We're going to have some products and the product names are going to be my key. And then the um, values are going to be the prices. I have sort of like a jewelry store, very cheap thing going on. Um, so in order to put values and keys into your map, you're going to say the name of your map dot put and then you're going to put it in the brackets and i have necklace and that's 5.99 a ring it's 8.99 earrings 245 this is very cheap <laughs> um and if i wanted to add something i could just add like an anklet or something and it's gonna put in key value for me and i want my anklet to be what like it's just gonna be 10 bucks okay this is how you put in the keys and values, put, dot put. How do you remove and replace? So there's also a dot remove if you just want to completely cut out that value. But let me show you. So you can see I use dot remove on the anklet. So this is, again, the key is kind of identifying it. So I want to move this one. And then I've printed it here. You have the ring, necklace, anklet, and earrings. So then I remove the anklet and you can see it's not there anymore. Um, so also, if you wanted to just replace something, you could do that as well. To replace a value, all I have to do is do dot put again for the same key. And that's because there can't be two of the same uh, keys because then it wouldn't know which to identify by and which value to get if you do dot get. In order to replace something, you would just do dot put again and then it would replace it. So let's do that. So now, instead of my necklace being, oh wait, instead of my necklace being $5.99, it's gonna be $7.99 because I have done dot put for a different value but the same key. There is also a dot get and it's basically just getting the value from the key. I can show you that as well. Right, so I just printed a products.get and I wanted to get the um, value for ring. And you can see that it gives it to me here, 899. Um, and yeah, so we can add keys and values, remove values, replace values, and get the values. 
Um, and this is not all you can do with maps, but it's just the basic stuff that you can do. And, and you probably find yourself using this a lot since it is a kind of dictionary system and it's way easier to remember or get a value because you can remember the key. And yeah, so hopefully you learned about hash maps from this video. And if you did like it, give me a like and subscribe to this channel or consider subscribing to this channel. <laughs> consider <laughs> Consider subscribing to this channel for more content just like this. And uh, comment down below any feedback or questions you guys might have for me. I would be happy to read through them and reply. Uh, and yeah, hopefully you're having a good day. I'll see you again next week. I upload every Monday, uh, every week. So bye.